I am Christy Arkovich uh, from Tampa, Florida. We are seeing a bunch more foreclosure filings kind of just starting. Um, we had had so many of them back in 2008 through, I don't know, 2013 or so. Um, but there is a rule that is going to cause a lot of problems for folks with foreclosures that hasn't gotten much publicity. And I wanted to make sure that we try to get that out there. And what this is, is last July, so this is July of 2022, the Florida uh, Civil Rules of Procedure were modified. And so now if someone is served with a foreclosure suit, they can file an answer or response just like normal. The next thing that happens is called a motion for summary judgment. And this is where a lender tries to basically present their case that they are the owner and holder of the note and mortgage, that payments haven't been made, the default has, you know, default notice has gone out and things like that. And it is done in a modified fashion. It's called a summary judgment for a reason. It's basically a quick process for a mortgage company to foreclose on a home without the necessity of a more expensive trial where they have to fly their witness in from perhaps another state and things like that. And so typically um, there was a short process where a homeowner could file an affidavit a few days before the hearing and be able to testify at the hearing. Um, that has changed. And so now uh, there needs to be a specific um, opposing response filed 20 days before the hearing. And this is the amended motion for summary judgment rule. And so what I anticipate is folks are going to think, oh, I filed an answer. I put all my defenses in there. I got something off the internet. It had a lot of really nicely worded affirmative defenses. Maybe I have some legal knowledge. Maybe I've been involved with the foreclosure before. I have some basics behind me. I filed that. I'll be good. Then they'll show up at the hearing. You know, it's calendared. They show up. They expect to be able to argue those things. Turns out they have to have a specific opposing response or response to uh, oppose the summary judgment motion. It has to be filed 20 days before the hearing. Um, that rule is going to catch a lot of people off guard. And so um, I, I had a blog recently where there was someone who was talking about um, that issue. And basically their, their comment was, I can't imagine someone going through it without legal help because I know how it was for me. And that was a, a retired Clearwater uh, police uh, detective that was involved with some kind of um, foreclosure lawsuit that the city of St. Petersburg had brought. So there can be a lot of confusing rules, uh, but this particular rule, I think is going to catch a lot of people off guard. Um, if you need help with a foreclosure, uh, please consider consulting with our office. Uh, the best way to reach us is info at christyarkovich.com. We're in Tampa, Florida. So we handle some of the surrounding counties around us. But if you're from another state, you probably want to contact an attorney in that particular state that you reside in. We would not be able to represent you, nor would we nor would we be able to give you legal advice about a specific state rule in your particular state. This is only for the state of Florida. And um, it is across the board for the entire state, uh, this particular rule, but we represent clients particularly around the Tampa Bay area and its surrounding counties. Uh, best way to reach us again is info at christyarkovich.com. Uh, our office phone number is 813-258-2808. And please hit the subscribe button if you have found this helpful. Um, I appreciate your time and watching and hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.